what's up y'all i spent uh three hours yesterday right around the neighborhood trying to get some fish i got into some fish but when i got back home i realized my mic on my chesty camera which is the main camera wasn't working i got zero audio from it so i looked through my drives and i found a video i never released it was actually the day that we submitted the offer for this house so this was one of the last videos i filmed in miami make sure you stick around to the end of the video to get an update on project square one that's what i'm calling the jumbo project because it's back to square one and a couple more things so make sure you stick around let's go Definitely got to re-rig this uh, tip itself frayed up. Cut off about five inches of line and tie the seam, fly back on. I'm doing a wrap a little loop knot. I think some people call it a non-slip loop knot. Cut the tag end. I left my fly box, so hoping I don't lose this fly. It's the only fly I got on me. I mean, I could always go back and grab my fly box, but even then, my fly box is pretty empty. I haven't tied flies in a minute. I'm gonna try to straighten this out a bit. All right, that kind of worked. So 27.5 inch, so it's a little bit funner. You can get some more air on the drums and stuff. So that's why I have that bike. There's a decent peacock down there. And there's also a little guy. <laughs> Let me see if I get that bigger one to come up for the fly again. He came up and looked at it. Then he kind of took off. Got the little guy. little peacock but very aggressive oh those are some big fish oh big carp two big carp came up to the fly which is weird it's gonna be one of those days where you kind of got to be at the right place at the right time when those fish happen to come by clip the no fishing sign <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, there goes some fish right here. Those might be peacocks, but they weren't going ballistic like the jacks were a minute ago. That's a good sign. Looking at the fly. Oh, oh, come on. It's coming up for it. Got him. That was interesting. So I walk up, I scope around, I look around, I don't see anything. I make a cast off this ledge to the left. Shoot the fly through in there, and then I noticed two people coming out and the fly. They just kind of kept swimming, looking at it, looking for it. Oh, this is weird. Look at this. So I got one peacock in my hand right here. And then the other one, its partner, is right there. Just took off. I don't know if you can see them. Now they paired back up again. We're gonna continue to swim that bank. They're together again, swimming down the bank. Let's see, there's a Mayan that's been hanging around right there. All right, so we got a fish. I'm not sure how good this audio is because the wind did pick up again. So I'm gonna keep moving and see if I can find a couple more. I'm running out of time. Something just blew up inside the pipe. Again, two blow ups inside the pipe. Let's see if we happen to be coming this way. I think I see a peacock right, right below me actually. Looks like a little fish. Let's see, I keep hearing blow-ups in the pipe and on the other side of the pipe. Oh, I just got swiped. I got swiped again. Got him. <laughs> Third stripe was a charm. He swiped at it twice. On the third one, he actually inhaled it. 
nice peacock not a big one ah oh, came off i'm sure it could be because this hook was opened up but yeah it is what it is let me see if i could get another one he was excited aggressive chased the fly down multiple times so he finally got it I want to say thank you to all of you that decided to purchase some things off the Amazon wish list. I'd like to thank uh, Fish Sizzle 83. I received a handful of items that he picked up off the Amazon wish list. Most of them didn't have a names attached, so I don't know who to thank. So thank you to those that went ahead and purchased those things. I updated the list. I got some other things on there that I'm gonna need for some of the projects. So if you want to help out any way you can, the link is in the description below. All right, so here's the update on Project Square One. I'm gonna call it Project Square One because it's back to square one and it's a uh, uh, square nose jumbo. I'm gonna show you guys how I strip it down, clean it, sand it down, and then go ahead and paint it camouflage. I'm gonna do the camel base and then the actual camel pattern on top of it. And then I'm going to do the inside. Let me know in the comments if you think I should do one video for the outside, one video for the inside, or I should make one video of the entire boat inside and out. I'm also gonna do a whole other video just for the trailer because it's gonna be a lot of work to overhaul the boat and the trailer. And then I also have to figure out if I can get the outboards running and which outboard I'm going to put on it. So stick around for that. That should be coming up in the next week or two. I will start the John boat process. I'm also going to be working on the dirt jumper. I found this bike in the dumpster back in the apartment building in Miami. I went to throw out the trash and I saw this there and I was like, whoa, that's a decent bike. Yeah, I had, you know, I had flat tires. The brakes didn't work but I had taken it back home, did a few things to it, got the brakes working, and then my wife actually rode this bike on the trails, and it actually worked out pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and build the dirt jumper just to have something to mess around with. It'll be easier to ride around than a BMX in terms of distance. So I started stockpiling parts for the dirt jumper. I still need a few more things. I need to get some tires, some pedals, maybe some new brake cables. I might go to a hydraulic disc brake. I haven't figured that out yet. So I'm excited to get these things going. Thank you guys. Let me know in the comments if you want to see anything specifically. And thanks for uh, tuning in.